Hello everyone, back again with Military TD. The Horton AI Sex, Oral Men designation Ho 229 Ogos. Go 229 for extensive redesign work done by Gotha to prepare the aircraft for mass production, was a German prototype fighter, properable initially designed by Reimar and Walter Horton to be built by Gotha Air Wagon Fabric, developed at a late stage of the Second World War. It was the first flying wing to be powered by jet engines. The Ho 229 had been designed in response to a call by Hermann Göring, the head of the Luftwaffe in 1943 for light bomber designs capable of meeting the 3XN1000 requirement. Namely, to carry 1,000 kilograms, 200 LBRO bombs, a distance of 1,000 kilometers, pulometers per hour, 620 MFA, with a speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour, 620 MFA. Only jet propulsion was capable of achieving the required speed. But such engines were relatively primitive and extremely fuel-hungry, necessitating considerable effort across the rest of the design in order to satisfy the range requirement as well. The flying wing configuration was favored by the Horton brothers due to its high aerodynamic efficiency, as had been demonstrated by the Horton HIVIV. In order to minimize drag, the HO-229 was not fitted with any extraneous flight control surfaces. Its ceiling was 15,000 meters and 29,002. A2 head 2 to Sun 2D. 229 was the only design that even came close to the requirements set out, and the Horton brothers quickly received an initial order for three prototypes after the project garnered Goring's approval. Design and Development during the early 1930s, the Horton brothers had become interested in the flying wing configuration as a method of improving the performance of gliders. At that time, the German government had been actively funding glider clubs across the country as a response to the production of military and even motorized aircraft being forbidden by the Treaty of Versailles after the First World War. The flying wing layout removed the need for a tail and associated control surfaces and theoretically offered the lowest possible weight, using wings that were relatively short and sturdy and without the added drag of the fuselage. Their first aircraft of such a configuration was the Horton H.I. In 1943, Reich's Marshal Hermann, Goring issued a request for design proposals to produce a bomber that was capable of carrying a 1,000 kg, 2,200 LBA, 1,000 km, 20MIG at 1,000 km per hour to hour 220M, 1,000 km. Conventional German bombers were capable of reaching Allied targets across Great Britain, but were suffering devastating losses from Allied fighters in the process. Three, at the time, there was no conventional means for aircraft designers to meet these goals. The new Junkers Jumo 4B turbojets could provide the required speed consumption. However, the Horton brothers concluded that the low-drag flying wing design could meet all of the goals. By reducing the drag, crew's power could be lowered to the point where the range requirement could be met. They put forward their private project, the HIX, as the basis for the bomber. It is important to note that the interest in HO-229 often has more to do with the historical and technological aspects of the war than speculation about UFOs or conspiracy theories. The futuristic design and advanced technology introduced by this aircraft provide insight into Germany's wartime technological advances, as well as the untapped potential in aviation. In recent years, there have been various reproductions and replicas of the HO-229 made to honor the design and invention of this aircraft. These replicas are frequently exhibited in aviation museums around the world, providing visitors with an opportunity to get up close and personal with iconic aircraft from the wartime and German aviation history.